Welcome to the second of three videos, this time looking at the concept behind the lesson sequence. Appendix A represents an expandable framework of engaging one and a half hour lessons. When followed, students will gain scratch skills socially and increasingly independently. Students work in teams to apply these skills to developing an application or game and the design document. Teachers should extend this course to scaffold knowledge gaps and in anticipation of students' existing needs and abilities, including ITC. The first part of the unit involves establishing class routines, starting to form teams and democratic processes and practices through activities, and learning the Scratch platform through tutorials individually. The formative task requires each student to modify three of the provided examples to demonstrate that they can manipulate sequences and routines. Students finalize teams based on interests, abilities, and a shared vision. From Lesson 6 onwards, students are required to only work in their teams and finalize established democratic practices that follow the design cycle. This is to develop their ideas, plan, conduct research, perform duties, and record progress. These lessons follow the design document template Appendix B, which students use to record knowledge and ideas and eventually refine into the team-based submission. Students are increasingly expected to work outside of class times. Many links to scaffolding resources have been included to support this increasingly flippant model, where the teacher works to support teams and individual progress. Feeling valued and understood which are tenors of democratic pedagogy underpins active involvement by all team members. The teacher does more than guide the class through online resources. They must promote and monitor inclusivity so all students freely contribute and contextualize their app ideas to practical and personal interests and responsibilities. The teacher needs to be vigilant and to scaffold areas of weakness before they can become discouraging barriers. Increasingly, intrinsic motivations are needed, and these are kindled through a host of extrinsic forces built into the lessons.